15 years ago, less than 1% of Africans had a mobile phone. Now 76% of Africans have a phone and are paying the mobile phone companies for airtime, paying to charge their phones, but most are still drinking parasite infested water from open wells and 2,300 people die every day from drinking dirty water. Billions of pounds have been spent on in installing water supply in Africa um, by donors and governments and most of the systems break down within six months to two years and they stop working. That's just a fact. And that cycle has been going on for 30 years and we're still doing the same thing. Problems with leaks in the pipework, uh, pumps failing to pump, water tanks leaking, uh, the taps on the tap stands actually breaking and water literally just pours all over the floor which produces stagnant water, stationary water which actually then is a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other waterborne diseases. With the solar systems they often just leave the people leave the taps on and as soon as the tanks filled up they, uh, the water just gushes out and they all rush up and get their jerry can and have a scrap at the tap and then you know they sort of only have the water for an hour or two a day, twice a day so, you know, so the current systems are just not well managed because People are not paying for water at the point of use. Normally you open at 9 o'clock to 12 and in the evening also 5 to 6. Yeah, it was so difficult for us, honestly. In most of the communities I came across, I found a very good infrastructure of water system. But because little more money is being collected or no money is being collected to maintain the system, the system will break, break down and nobody is responsible. It has erupted into many, many fighting, many, many gossiping and this has left its stain on the social life of the local people. You know, we don't have enough taps, you know, enough taps here, you know, and we have many people using different, uh, uh, one, one type, you know. So fundamentally, the biggest problem is they break and there's no one to fix them and there's no money to pay for somebody to fix them. Mobile phone companies weren't afraid to use the most advanced technology in very rural areas. Instead, they embraced technology to deliver a service which has transformed people's lives. And we wanted to do the same by providing access to clean water. I think e-water system is one of the best systems in getting water. It's a low cost system and it can operate even in the most rural bits of Africa. It's so perfect. Yeah. Because anytime you need water, you must go to the tap and fetch water for any time, even at the midnight of the day or at the midnight. Anyone with a smartphone can buy e-water credit using the app. If you haven't got a smartphone, you can buy small amounts of credit from any e-water seller. You then take your e-water tag to the tap. Put the tag against the tap and it dispenses the water you need. It's that simple. The amount that people pay for a mobile phone in Africa would cover 10 years worth of drinking water purchased through e-water. I see how e-water brings a new system and that system I'm very happy about it because this system is a new technology in the whole world. E-water, their water is clean, the, the money is safe and then uh, the water also is safe for us. And then e-water is the best company in this country. E-water is, is better because there is no more fighting in the tap now. There is no more fighting. People pay for what they use and then this morning they use it to maintain their system for 24-7. The e-water taps are connected by the Internet of Things to the cloud and through our servers and our dashboard we're able to send out alerts to our engineers to be able to go out and fix any problems within a day. My name is Maria Ambala, I'm the e-water technician. The money that people pay to fetch water, we use it to maintain any tap that have a problem. We are able to fix it in 30 minutes time or one hour time. In the West, people are under the impression that Poor people living in Africa aren't willing to pay for access to clean water. There almost seems to be a taboo about charging for water. However, the 13,000 people that we have buying water each day 
in our villages are more than willing to pay a very affordable fee if they trust that all of the money will be used to maintain the system. Instead of ending up in a water user committee bank account where there are often problems of nepotism and mismanagement and they really do trust this system. People in the local communities are happy to buy water because they know this is the only way to sustain their water system 24-7. It will really help the community, you know, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in terms of water supply. The future of e-water is going to be amazing. It's going to be captivating because there are many local communities who are consulting e-water manager that they are interested to sign up with e-water. Having, having seen the benefit of e-water in the other communities that are their neighboring communities. People ask contact me for the other village. They need e-water to go and help. This is the only technology available to ensure that enough money is collected fairly and transparently from users all across Africa so that taps are always maintained. It completely solves that problem. And for that reason, I think it is absolutely huge. It's incredibly exciting. I mean, E-water, sustainable water, forever. 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 Forever and forever. Forever. E-water!